Day 19. Yes. <laughs> Tell us, Jared. Nature versus nurture. So we're talking about epigenetics. Epigenetic, what the heck is that, Lau? Like, okay, I'll explain it to you and then you explain it to see if you understood. Beautiful. Okay, so. All right. This might be a long, long video alert. No, I hope not. <laughs> we can keep it really simple. But epigenetic means that you're not bound by the genes you inherit. So my dad, my grandpa, his dad, his dad, his dad, they all had this thing. So I'll get it too, right? Like it's in my genes. Okay, so that's the thing. It doesn't mean that you're gonna inherit specific sickness or disease. This is the easy way out. You know, this is what in the Western medical environment, this is the common knowledge or the common information. But it's not that you inherit the disease. You inherit the genes, but you can turn them on or turn them off. If you turn them off, they won't manifest the disease. And what you inherit from your dad, from your grandpa, from the grandpa, etc., was lifestyle choices. Those lifestyle choices, the way your family used to eat when they were kids, and that was passed on, and everybody in this family eats this type of things, and everybody in this family do these things, or they don't do these things. Lifestyle was inherit. Programming was inherit to you. So those things you repeat that are unhealthy, that were unhealthy for your parents, those are the things that trigger, turn on those that information that can potentially create disease. But as you already know, there's only one type of disease. Uh, one disease, two causes. Which is malfunctioning of cells because of excess of toxins or lack of, lack of nutrition, right? And at the end of the day, bottom line, that is also lack of oxygenation in your cells, to keep it super simple. Genes are the blueprints, and depending on my lifestyle, what I'm thinking, how I'm managing my emotions, what I'm eating, what I'm watching, what I'm listening to, what my beliefs are, what my environment is, toxicity or the nutrition of my cells, all of these things are gonna determine if these blueprints are activated, are or, not. activated or not. So, okay. wow. So every, this is also very interesting, every baby, like 99% of humans are born perfectly healthy and normal. It's only less than 1% that are born with genetic problems, like evident genetic problems. What happens is that because of lifestyle choices, we start getting sick because this malfunctioning starts happening in our bodies. But it's not the fault of your parents, it's not the fault of your grandparents, it's not the fault of your genes, is that you, as an adult, keep choosing same lifestyle choices that are keeping you sick. So it's not about fault, it's about responsibility and taking responsibility for your life and your current lifestyle decisions. As simple as that. Simple as that, all right. So are we going to nurture our environment, ourselves, what we're consuming and our lifestyle or are we just gonna kind of go down the path that, that we think the history has been written for us already? Mm -hmm. So your choice. Your choice, your right. responsibility. Your responsibility. Awesome. Day 20, we're going to talk about GMO foods. <laughs> awesome. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.